Hey you guys, welcome back to our day. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. Take you around the day and we're gonna talk about being a hot mess. I talk about being a hot mess all the time and I wanna talk about that and what I feel like that means. My sister-in-law called me the other day while we were down at the ocean and just kind of mentioned it. She had sent me a text message as well and kind of got talking about it. What does it mean to feel like you're a hot mess? And why do I say it? And there's a couple different reasons why I say it. So, I wanna talk about that. I'm gonna get ready though, which is part of being a hot mess. So, let me get ready really quick, and then we're gonna talk about feeling like, looking like, and being a hot mess. All right, see? better I don't even have mascara on yet and it's already that much better okay I have somewhere to go today which is kind of why I'm filming this type of video because I'm kind of busy today and it's not really something that I can I'm doing something for a church today and it's just not something I can really share on the channel just because it's a little bit more personal let me turn on a fan Real quick all right so we're gonna do this on the run today because I have too much to get done. What does it mean to be a hot mess? Oh, let's get some better light, hang on. What does it mean to be a hot mess? I say this all the time. Jason makes fun of me for saying it. He says I'm not a hot mess, but I always say it, I always feel it. And the conversation I had with my sister-in-law the other day kind of helped me realize a few things. What she mentioned, before we talk about what is a hot mess, what she mentioned was that she was worried that I felt bad about myself enough that I just was constantly putting myself down, meaning that I didn't like the way I looked, kind of idea, and that she was worried because I think we all do this as women, not necessarily just as mothers, but that my kids would not necessarily learn that behavior, but they would think I thought badly of myself and then they learn that behavior themselves and they think that their image, you know, you know, has a value to it, I guess, depending on what you look like during the day. And, you know, that it kind of, you know, it's eye-opening a little bit. It made me think about why I say that I'm a hot mess. Right now, I don't feel like I'm a hot mess. You would think that I was thinking that because I've got my makeup on and my hair done and I've got a cute outfit on, I've got a cute t-shirt on and some shorts and I've got air conditioning blowing on me so I'm cool and I'm not hot. But in about an hour, when I am hot and I don't have the air conditioning on me and I wanna pull my hair up, and my makeup isn't as fresh as it is right now, I could still possibly say that I feel like a hot mess. So it kind of made me realize why I say that I'm a hot mess. Part of it is on days where I don't have makeup on and my hair really truly is not done. So I'm having to look forward and not at the camera because <laughs> I am driving and I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I really have limited time today to be able to film this. So on the days where I'm doing chores and I'm cleaning and I'm having to take care of the kids and get on them and and I don't have makeup on and my hair's not done and I am in a ratty t-shirt and I'm sweaty and, and hot and gross and that's a hot mess, right? Like that's when I truly feel like I'm a hot mess and when I say it the most. My hair's not nice and I feel gross. But there are other days like I could feel in an hour where my, I'm all done up and I still feel like a hot mess. So sometimes for me it's like that where I'm literally all undone. And I realize that a lot of the time, I would say easily 50% of the time that I say it that I'm a hot mess and maybe this is the same for other people, I don't know. When I say sometimes that I'm a hot mess and I look like this, like I look done up, it's literally because I'm hot and I'm sweaty. Like I know underneath like all of my clothing and even behind the makeup and underneath the hair 
my head is hot and sweaty and so I know I'm turning into an oily greasy mess and I know that I probably stink or I'm starting to smell because I'm sweating so much and the deodorant it's like seven o'clock at night and deodorant is not as good as it was at seven o'clock in the morning when I put it on and I feel like a hot mess I may not look like a hot mess but I feel like it I feel like I want to get in a cold shower and wash all the sweat off and put clean clothes on and either go to bed or go out to eat or go hang out on the couch with my kids or home Jason I feel like a hot mess and I think that's different than looking like a hot mess and I need to maybe make sure that's known especially when I'm talking to my kids or saying it out loud around my kids or even my husband or other moms because I don't want people to think that I don't like myself or I don't like the image of myself as much and so that's kind of my thought process on it that I realize that I'm saying it when it's not the image of me being a hot mess it's how I'm feeling at the time all right so I had to kind of come and find a quiet spot um, it's actually been hours <laughs> This is why I said it. this is the type of video that I needed to do today. Um, I had to find a quiet spot because my daughter now has friends inside and they're watching Endgame, which is actually what I would rather be doing right now. So I guess my thoughts on feeling like and looking like and saying as a mom that I'm a hot mess, I think it's okay as long as my kids know, especially because I have girls, I think it's important for them to know, maybe I just need to talk to them and be like, explain to them when I say that I am a hot mess what that means like so that they know that I don't necessarily have a bad image of myself some days I do is that bad I don't know what do you guys think think is it okay for us as moms and as women to not feel good about our looks um I don't know I, I don't I think especially lately I haven't felt good about myself and like my skin, I just haven't. My skin has been really, really bad. But by me vocalizing it and saying it out loud to my kids, especially, one of them said, well, what soap are you using? I've been using this and it's worked great. And so it actually opened up a dialogue with my kids. And I'm always asking my daughters, did you wash your face tonight? And the face wipe doesn't count. You have to actually use soap and water. And, and so um, it actually brings out conversations and I need to do that more with my daughters, especially, but I think that can relate to boys or husbands or spouses or whatnot. So I think I just need to be more open with my kids um, and make sure that they know that I, I'm not completely secure with myself by any stretch of the means. I'm not, I have a lot of insecurities about my looks, head to toe, quite literally. But I want them to know that like, when I say I'm a hot mess, I'm still okay with myself. I just feel like I need to kind of clean up where I'm done with the day. Or like right now, I kind of feel like a hot mess just because I've had a really long day. It's six o'clock, I don't have plans for dinner. I have a house full of kids that I, I don't know what they're gonna eat. I don't know what they're gonna do. They're gonna watch a movie, but then they're gonna be hungry. And I have been gone all day. I haven't done laundry. I haven't, the house is clean because we've been gone all day but I feel disheveled because I don't have a plan. So that could be me feeling like a hot mess because I'm not in control, right? So um, just kind of wanted to explain why I say that I am a hot mess sometimes. Actually, I say it often. Um, and maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Um, let me know. Maybe you guys have a word that you say of yourself in those moments, like, or, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know any other word that you would use or phrase because that's been my phrase for so many years that, um, you know, maybe I'm, other people say I'm frazzled or I'm, um, full on say I'm stinky or I'm gross and dirty or I don't know, like, I don't know what other people say, but, um, just kind of wanted to explain that when it's, you know, our self image of ourselves is important and it's important for others around us to know that we maybe aren't so down on herself, I guess. That's kind of what I was getting from my sister-in-law's conversation is she wanted to make sure I was okay and make sure I was okay with myself, um, which I thought was really neat that she had picked up on that. And um, I was thankful for that because I, I don't say those things because I'm completely down on myself. 
And so I think that's important too, is to make sure we say things that don't give off the wrong impression. And I think I maybe have been giving off the wrong, wrong impression. So just know, if I say I'm a hot mess, and I don't have makeup on, and I have messes all over my face from my skin not being good, or my hair isn't done. I mean, my hair's done now, and I just feel like I wanna put it up in a ponytail. But if my hair's not done, and my, you know, everything else is disheveled, that's comes across as pretty obvious I'm a hot mess. But if it's on a day like this where my makeup is on and my hair is done and I say I'm a hot mess, <laughs> there's a whole lot more that could be a hot mess. And that's kind of what I mean by it. So nothing down about myself, it's just mom life, right? Sometimes we just feel overwhelmed and not put together. And that's hard sometimes. But anyway, that's kind of the gist of this video. I hope you guys maybe have thoughts to share on this subject. I think as moms, maybe we are told not to talk about ourselves or not be okay with ourselves. I don't know. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this? I'd love to chat with you about it in the comments. So, I don't know. That's where I wanted to go with this video. Kids aren't in it. It's just about this concept. So, I hope you guys stick around if you are new to this video. This is different. I don't normally do just a sit down chat like this, but I thought it was kind of fun. I just needed to do it along the day um, in between all these other things that I had to do. So stick around. I am planning a fun party in two days. So um, those decorations are gonna be fun to look at. So if you're new, subscribe and come back for more. And for those that like to comment, I'd love to talk to you. So take care guys. Bye-bye.